how old do you have to be to play the Doctor? If you asked that question back in 1963, when the part had only ever been played by one actor, the answer would have been fairly simple. But nowadays, as with many of the Doctor's attributes, most notably their gender, the sky is the limit. Well, within reason. The part is physically demanding for any actor. Famously, Matt Smith and Peter Capaldi, the youngest and oldest ever Doctors, both suffered the same knee injury during their tenures. But these demands make it a particularly unsuitable role for actors of a certain age. At the opposite end of the spectrum, the worldliness, and indeed otherworldliness, of the character would be difficult for a child actor to portray. So what is the ideal age to play the Doctor? Well, in order to gauge this, we do well to look back at previous actors who've played the part. As I say, the youngest and oldest Doctors are Smith and Capaldi, and they present us with two extremes, the former cast at 26, and the latter departing aged 59. Both are closely trailed by classic series counterparts, namely Peter Davison, who at 29 previously held the title for the youngest ever Doctor, and William Hartnell, who became the first Doctor at the same age that Capaldi became the 12th. But beyond these extremes, could you honestly say that you know the ages of the other Doctors? Could you roll off the three actors who took on the part aged 40, or tell me the one age between 27 and 59 at which no one has yet played the part? If the answer's no, then you're not alone, because I couldn't either. And that's where this video comes in. I've gone back to check the facts for myself, and plotted the results on a great big chart, which is hopefully both easy to understand and nice to look at. I've then taken the average age of each actor during their time on the show, and come up with an overall average optimum age for someone to play the Doctor. A couple of points before we get going. Multi-Doctor stories don't count here. I'm simply going off when each actor was the incumbent Doctor. On that basis, neither John Hurt or Joe Martin are included, though for the sake of completionism, Hurt was 73 when he filmed The Day of the Doctor, so technically the oldest ever Doctor. As for Martin, I couldn't actually find any reference to her year of birth online, so rather fittingly, exactly where her incarnation fits in remains a mystery. So without further ado, let's dive into the numbers. William Hartnell played the first Doctor from 1963 to 1966. He was born on the 8th of January 1908, and filmed his first story for the show, the pilot version of An Unearthly Child, on the 27th of September 1963, aged 55. He filmed his final story for the show, The Tenth Planet Part 4, on the 8th of October 1966, aged 58. Hartnell therefore played the Doctor from the age of 55 to the age of 58. The average age at which Hartnell played the Doctor is 56.5. This makes the average age to play the Doctor in 1963, 56.5. Patrick Troughton played the second Doctor from 1966 to 1969. He was born on the 25th of March 1920, and filmed his first scene for the show, as part of the Tenth Planet Part 4, on the 8th of October 1966, aged 46. He filmed his final story, the War Games Part 10, on the 12th of June 1969, aged 49. Troughton therefore played the Doctor from the age of 46 to the age of 49. The average age at which Troughton played the Doctor is 47.5. This brings the average age to play the Doctor in 1969 to 52. John Pertwee played the third Doctor from 1970 to 1974. He was born on the 7th of July 1919 and filmed his first scenes for the show as part of Spearhead from Space on the 13th of September 1969, aged 50. He filmed his final scenes for the show as part of Planet of the Spiders on the 1st of May 1974, aged 54. Pertwee therefore played the Doctor from the age of 50 to the age of 54. The average age at which Pertwee played the Doctor is 52. This brings the average age to play the Doctor in 1974 to 52. 
Tom Baker played the fourth Doctor from 1974 to 1981. He was born on the 20th of January 1934 and filmed his first scene for the show as part of Planet of the Spiders Part 6 on the 2nd of April 1974, aged 40. He filmed his final scenes for the show as part of Legopolis on the 24th of January 1981, aged 47. Baker therefore played the Doctor from the age of 40 to the age of 47. The average age at which Baker played the Doctor is 43.5. This brings the average age to play the Doctor in 1981 to 50. Peter Davison played the fifth Doctor from 1981 to 1984. He was born on the 13th of April 1951 and filmed his first scenes for the show as part of Legopolis Part 4 on the 9th of January 1981, aged 29. He filmed his final scenes for the show as part of The Caves of Androzani Part 4 on the 12th of January 1984, aged 32. Davison therefore played the Doctor from the age of 29 to the age of 32. The average age at which Davison played the Doctor is 30.5. This brings the average age to play the Doctor in 1984 to 46. Colin Baker played the sixth Doctor from 1984 to 1986. He was born on the 8th of June 1943 and filmed his first scenes for the show as part of the Caves of Androzani Part 4 on the 12th of January 1984, aged 40. He filmed his final scenes for the show as part of the Trial of a Time Lord, The Ultimate Foe on the 17th of July 1986, aged 43. Baker therefore played the Doctor from the age of 40 to the age of 43. The average age at which Baker played the Doctor is 41.5. This brings the average age to play the Doctor in 1986 to 45. Sylvester McCoy played the seventh Doctor from 1987 to 1989. He was born on the 20th of August 1943, incidentally just a couple of months after Colin Baker, and filmed his first scenes for the show as part of Time in the Rani on the 4th of April 1987, aged 43. He filmed his final scenes for the show as part of Ghostlight on the 23rd of June 1989, aged 45. He also filmed scenes for the TV movie from the 24th of January to the 2nd of February 1996, aged 52. McCoy therefore played the Doctor from the age of 43 to the age of 45, and again at the age of 52. The average age at which McCoy played the Doctor, TV movie aside, is 44. This brings the average age to play the Doctor in 1989 to 45. Paul McGann played the 8th Doctor in 1996. He was born on the 14th of November 1959 and filmed scenes for the TV movie from the 15th of January to the 21st of February 1996, aged 36. He also filmed scenes for The Night of the Doctor on the 7th and 8th of May 2013, aged 53. McGann therefore played the Doctor at the age of 36 and again at the age of 53. The age at which McGann played the Doctor, Night of the Doctor aside, is 36. This brings the average age to play the Doctor in 1996 to 44. Christopher Eccleston played the Ninth Doctor in 2005. He was born on the 16th of February 1964 and filmed his first scenes for the show as part of Aliens of London on the 18th of July 2004, aged 40. He filmed his final scenes for the show 
as part of the parting of the ways on the 23rd of April 2005, aged 41. Eccleston therefore played the Doctor from the age of 40 to the age of 41. The average age at which Eccleston played the Doctor is 40.5. This brings the average age to play the Doctor in 2005 to 43.5. David Tennant played the 10th Doctor from 2005 to 2010. He was born on the 18th of April 1971 and filmed his first scenes for the show on the 21st of April 2005, aged 34. He filmed his final scenes for the show as part of The Sarah Jane Adventures, The Wedding of Sarah Jane Smith on the 29th of May 2009, aged 38. Tennant therefore played the Doctor from the age of 34 to the age of 38. The average age at which Tennant played the Doctor is 36.5. This brings the average age to play the Doctor in 2010 to 43. Matt Smith played the 11th Doctor from 2010 to 2013. He was born on the 28th of October 1982 and filmed his first scene for the show as part of The End of Time Part 2 on the 20th of July 2009, aged 26. He filmed his final scenes for the show as part of The Time of the Doctor on the 5th of October 2013, aged 30. Smith therefore played the Doctor from the age of 26 to the age of 30. The average age at which Smith played the Doctor is 28. This brings the average age to play the Doctor in 2013 to 41.5. Peter Capaldi played the 12th Doctor from 2013 to 2017. He was born on the 14th of April 1958 and filmed his first scenes for the show as part of The Day of the Doctor and The Time of the Doctor on the 3rd of October 2013, aged 55. He filmed his final scenes for the show as part of Twice Upon a Time on the 10th of July 2017, aged 59. Capaldi therefore played the Doctor from the age of 55 to the age of 59. The average age at which Capaldi played the Doctor is 57. This brings the average age to play the Doctor in 2017 to 43. Jodie Whittaker plays the 13th Doctor. She was born on the 17th of June 1982, incidentally just a couple of months before Matt Smith, and also the same day as Rory Williams actor Arthur Darville, and filmed her first scene for the show as part of Twice Upon a Time on the 19th of July 2017, aged 35. She filmed her final scenes for the show as part of the as yet untitled BBC Centenary Special on the 13th of October 2021, aged 39. Whittaker has therefore played the Doctor from the age of 35 to the age of 39. The average age at which Whittaker has played the Doctor is 37. This brings the average age to play the Doctor to date to 42. Well, 42.3 if you're being pedantic. So the average age to play the Doctor is in fact the answer to life, the universe and everything. Perhaps we should have known this all along. And if we take a look again at our chart, 42.3 is actually almost slap bang in the middle of Tom Baker's tenure as the Doctor. It's perhaps more surprising to see Colin Baker, Sylvester McCoy and Christopher Eccleston clustered around this optimum age as well. And again, if we take the average age for an actor to start playing the Doctor and the average age for an actor to stop playing the Doctor, the results are pretty similar. So the average age to start playing the Doctor is 40.7. Now, to date, no actor has started playing the role aged 41, but three actors have started playing it aged 40. In fact, based on the data alone, 
40 is the most common age to start playing the Doctor. Indeed, the only age at which multiple actors have started playing the part, namely Tom Baker, Colin Baker and Christopher Eccleston. And the average age to stop playing the Doctor is 43.9, which again corresponds most closely with Colin Baker. So statistically at least, the 14th Doctor should be older than Jodie Whittaker, not younger. That's what the figures say, but what do you think? Do you agree that the optimum age for the next Doctor is 42? Or would you like to see someone aged 57 or 33 or 22 or just whatever really? I know there's one person who commented on one of my videos the other day who's very keen to see a grandma style Doctor. And to be honest, just for the record, I would be totally down for that as well. Whatever your preference, please let me know down in the comments below what you think the optimum age is for someone to play the Doctor, and also how old you'd like the 14th Doctor to be and how old you think they might be. Place your bets, make your suggestions, make your predictions, and uh, yeah, I look forward to reading them. But otherwise, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do leave a like if you have, and also subscribe if by any chance you're new here. If you want to go a step further, please do consider supporting me on my brand new Patreon page, where for just £1.50 a month, you can get your name featured at the end of every video that I make. But until the next one, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye for now.